Hi, grade 8 students and hello to all the students out there. Kumusta kayo? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me again, Teacher Tin May. Siyempre, your science teacher for today. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 8. In our previous vlog, part 1 of The Particle Nature of Matter, we discussed about Activity 1 and Activity 2, which is all about which is matter and which is not. And for Activity 2, we also discussed about what is matter made of. And from that activity, from that discussion, you already know the difference between atom and molecule. So, alam nyo na rin kung ano yung mga properties ng matter and higit sa lahat, naintindihan nyo na what is the definition of a matter. So, in this lesson vlog, this is a continuation of Module 1, still about particle nature of matter. And for today's vlog, we're going to perform activity number 3. We're going to observe a situation to infer that particles of matter are moving and that there are spaces between them. Okay, in activity 3, kailangan lang natin ng syringe. Okay? Siyempre, yung syringe na wala namang needle. Ano? Okay, at siyempre, kailangan din natin ng water. So, tingnan natin kung anong gagawin. So, actually, kailangan natin ng 30 ml sana na syringe. But since wala akong available na mas malaking syringe, so mag-stick na lang tayo dito sa 5 ml na syringe. So, pupunuin natin siya. Pull the plunger of the syringe until it reaches 5 ml mark of the syringe. Second, press your thumb on the tip of the plunger and use your other thumb to push the plunger once. Question number one. Can you push the plunger all the way through the syringe while your thumb presses on the tip of the plunger? Why or why not? Of course, no. The plunger cannot be pushed all the way through the syringe. It's because the plunger can only be pushed until 3 ml or 2 ml level of the syringe and it goes back near to the 5 ml of the mark of the syringe. What do you feel as you push the plunger? Of course, the plunger of the syringe could be slightly pushed. The springiness of the air inside the syringe can be felt. This gives a hint about the distance between the particles of air. This time, push the plunger of the syringe all the way to the end of the syringe. Suck water from the cup or container up to 5 ml level of the syringe. And then, cover tightly the tip of the syringe with your thumb. The question is, what do you feel as you push the plunger? Obviously, we cannot push the plunger in the syringe with water inside. Compare what you felt when you pushed the plunger with the air and with the water. We were able to push the plunger of the syringe with air in it, but the plunger of the syringe with water in it could not be pushed. We felt the resistance of the water to being compressed. Air being a gas can be compressed because there are large spaces between the particles so the particles can be made to come closer to each other. The plunger could not be pushed in the syringe with water because water is not as compressible as air. The particles of liquid water are closer to each other and it is difficult to push them even closer to each other. Now, this time, let us have a cup of water and let us put half of it in another cup. Put the other half cup of tap water in another bottle or beaker and then observe carefully the flow of water.
Did the water take the shape of the container? Yes, water flowed freely as it is poured into another container. Water maintained its volume and took the shape of the container. This time, pour the water just on the flat surface of a diner plate. What do you observe? You can write all your observations. As you can observe, water poured on the flat surface of a diner plate spread out to fill all the space available. Now, examine a single piece of battle cup. Put it inside that bottle. Observe carefully what happens as you transfer it by tilting the bottle into the diner plate. What do you observe? You can write again your observations. When the battle cup inside the bottle was transferred to the diner plate by tilting the bottle, the battle cup simply slid along the side of the bottle. The battle cup retained its shape and volume. In the next procedure, you can use a cup of rock salt or sand. But this time, since I do not have rock salt and sand, I'll be using rice. So let us put cup of rice into the narrow mounted bottle. Observe carefully what happens to rock salt as we pour it into the bottle and when all of it has been transferred. Did the rock salt or sand or rice take the shape of the bottle? Did the particles of the rice change in shape? The rice sample may or may not take the shape of the container depending on the diameter of the container and the amount of rice used. But if the container has a narrow diameter, there are more rice used. Then, rice takes the shape of the container. The little pieces of rice or sand or salt maintained their shape. Alam nyo ba na itong ginawa nating activity about activity number 3 only shows the particle models of an atom. Sa activity 3, napansin nyo ba, di ba? Nung pinush nyo yung syringe na meron lang air, so naramdaman nyo yung springiness in the air kasi ibig sabihin lang pala nun, eh, yung air ay compressible. Hindi katulad nung, nung tubig yung nakalagay dito sa ating syringe at tinakpan natin siya, hindi nyo talaga siya ma-push sapagkat Okay, sapagkat itong water is a liquid na it is not compressible as the gases. Pwede itong magbigay sa atin ng hint na yung particles ng air, eh, meron pa rin silang distance with one another. Ibig sabihin, hindi ganoon kadikit-dikit ang kanilang spaces between each other as compared dun sa particles ng liquid Nung meron ng tubig doon sa loob at nilagyan natin siya ng harang dito sa dulo, hindi na natin siya ma-press nung may tubig sapagkat sobrang dikit-dikit ang mga particles nang naandun sa liquid. I mean, mas dikit-dikit siya as compared dun sa uh, gases. So, it only means that liquid is not as compressible as gases. The particles of the liquid water is closer to one another that it's difficult for us to even push them closer to one another. From the idea that matter is made up of particles and in the situations that we have observed from our drawings, our drawing shows how we see matter beyond what we see beyond what we can observe using our unaided eyes. And alam nyo ba, by doing this, you are creating your own mental picture by constructing these drawings and by constructing models, kagaya na lang ng mga drawings na ito at saka yung mga diagrams. And this is actually a great representation of what is happening at a level beyond what we can see using our Eyes. This is what science educators call submicroscopic model of representing a concept or idea 
which you cannot observe with your senses or even aided by using microscope. Okay, it is also possible that the mental models na drinowing nyo at kinawa nyo ay hindi naman sobrang katulad na katulad or perfectly match dun sa mga nakikita nyo sa mga books. Pero tandaan nyo na, at tandaan nyo at isaisip nyo lamang na these models are not like the pictures na nakukuha natin kapag nag-take tayo ng camera. Remember that they are only representations of reality. Okay, let us discuss even more the particle model of the three states of matter, the solid, the liquid, and the gas. Remember, sa gases, they ta it takes the shape of the container because they can move freely. Yes, malayang nakakagalaw yung mga particles dito dahil nga na malayo naman sila sa isa't isa. Ayan, kung mapapansin nyo, so malalayo yung particles ng gas. Okay, this is the reason why they can move freely. This model also explains the compressibility of gas. Okay, the distances between particles are large, so there is room for particles to move closer to each other. The particle model of matter shows that in gases, the particles move at random directions very quickly and travel in straight line paths. In the process, they collide with one another and with the walls of the container. They change direction only when they rebound from the collisions. The distance between particles is large compared to the size of the particles. The attraction between particles is negligible because of the large distance between them. This explains why a gas spreads. Its particles fill all the available space in the container. However, sa liquid naman, okay, in liquids, the particles are closer to one another, okay, nudging one another as they move. So, magkakalapit naman sila. Okay, this is the reason why the attraction between the particles are in, uh, is stronger than those in gases. The particles move and change positions, but not as freely as those in gases. Nakita nyo naman, di ba, dun sa activity natin, na kapag pinurin nyo itong tubig or any liquid substance, kahit ano pang container ang ihain nyo sa kanya, it takes the shape of the container. And aside sa it takes the shape of the container, kahit ipagsalin-salin mo pa siya, na-maintain pa rin nila yung volume ng kanilang substance. Eh, bakit nga ba? Okay, this happens because there are attractions between the particles that hold them together, although not in fixed position. And, uh, yung attraction na yun, ito rin yung dahilan kung bakit posible sa mga liquids na magkaroon sila ng definite volume. And, this is one of the major difference between gases and liquids. It's because the particles are attracted to one another more strongly than the particles of gases are. When you put water and rock salt in separate containers, you observe that a liquid such as water flows and it spreads out and takes the shape of the container. If you look closely as you pour the rock salt, the little pieces of solid salt maintain their shape even as the entire sample may take the shape of the container. One of the characteristics of both solids and liquids are, are that the particles are very close with one another and they are in contact with their neighbors, which is the particles. Kaya naman, itong solid at saka itong liquid, they are incompressible as compared sa gases. And these properties or these characteristics of solids and liquid uh, distinguishes them from gases. Solids have definite shapes and volume because the particles are packed closely together in fixed positions. They vibrate a little but in these fixed positions. The particles cannot move around. The particles of solids are held together by strong forces. From our activity 1, 2, and 3, you already know and you already learned that matter is anything that has mass and volume. And you have a better view and picture of how particles are arranged in three states of matter, which is solid, liquid, and gas. And you already know that matter is made up of tiny particles, 
Particles of matter are moving all the time. These particles have spaces between them. And lastly, the particles of matter attract each other. This is the end of our lesson vlog about the particle model of the three states of matter, which are the solid, liquid, and gas. I hope you learned something from this vlog. See you on our next lesson vlog. Yun naman yung part 3 na ng ating module 1, which is the particle nature of matter. So, sa susunod nating lesson vlog, i-discuss naman natin yung mga changes between the different states of matter. So, for example, from liquid to gas, from solid to liquid, or from gas to solid. So, yun naman ang ating gagawin. So, abangan niyo ulit ang ating next lesson vlog. So, sana ay kasama ko pa rin kayo hanggang dulo. Stay tuned on our channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in science. Eh, lalo na kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. Sana ay may natutunan kayo. God bless. And see you on our next vlog. Bye! Mag-subscribe ka muna! Salamat! Bye!